Well, hello YouTube. As you can see, this is, I know it kind of looks like where we were before, but it's a new place. So let me turn this camera around and show you what we got. So here we are, new place, we're right along the highway, and we're in a pretty tight little spot. I can't even put my awning all the way out. Wanted to show you it during the day. I'm gonna do a little walk around the night too, but I'll show you how close we are. That's how close we are. Just barely. In fact, we, uh, to put our outside screens on, we had to do it from the inside to put them on. Hopefully this wind isn't getting you. I know last time the wind was terrible. We're on an actual ranch that actually has animals, so they want to keep the gate closed, but their electronic gate got struck, I guess, or zapped by the, uh, some lightning about a week ago, and the gate's stuck open. They can't get it to close, and everybody wants to come in this way because then they don't have to go through our gauntlet. So I put that little deal there, and I put my cone that I keep for my motor home down there. And here comes the vehicle, so... I'm going to pause you here for a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and log this vehicle out. So I'm back. It's nighttime. Thought I'd come out and show you how I set up the lights here and how I got everything set up and what it looks like. So hang on, let me flip this around. So as you can see, there's a rig over there, way over there. There's the highway. Here's my big tall gate. So anyway, this is how I like to make it, the lighting. Actually had, I can't remember who it was. I do, but I can't, I can't, can't say the name. Anyway, he wanted to see how I set up the lighting. So this is how I set it up so that when, when the trucks come through this gate, when they pull up, I could see them out there because I have a light shining out, that one light there shining out and then I have this one that's shining in kind of lights up the sign so you can see the sign I didn't have those two last night there by the rear tires which made it really bad I've never had a tall light like that before um, but I think that's going to work out pretty good we're going to see how it does in the long term but I just like to have this whole area right here right in front of me like to have it lit up real good. And of course, these are for my safety. These lights down here at the feet. So that when I come out of that motor home, if there's something something hanging around down here, I'm gonna see it before I step down. And also if I actually the one time I had to kill a rattlesnake. I came out and it wasn't there. I looked down when I came out, it wasn't there because it was sitting like right where that mat was. And when I went to go back in, there it was. And uh, I used my uh, my scrubber for washing the motor home, trying to shoo it away, and it kept striking at me. And after about the fifth or sixth time, I just decided, well, I'm going to play this game all night. So. I had to put him night night. So, anyway, we go down here so you can see what it looks like going the other way, coming into it. I kind of turns into nothing. Hopefully, the wind isn't taking away all my audio. Generator's probably doing that. It's pretty windy right now. But you can see there's my truck. I moved it from outside of the gate, moved it in here, and the alarm set. You can see a little blue light blinking, probably. And that the the well guys are five miles back. When they're driving in, this is what it looks like right here. I think that's pretty awesome. Gives me a light, nice little area to 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 check in and check out, do the gate. And once that gate's secured over there, I could put my cone back away and everything. And then that way, we're pretty uh, we're pretty locked in right here. So. Little nerve wracking a lot tonight. There was a bunch of uh, Border Patrol screaming around over here. But uh, 
normally I would say nine out of ten times they won't come anywhere near this because they're not sure really what's going on they do know we have a tank of water and I mean they want to get it they want to get some water out of there I don't care but uh, I, I don't want to really interface with them too much so just tell, just tell them aqua and point to the to the trailer I enjoy having the interstate kind of this is truck land right here man this is uh, everything out of Mexico comes right there here pretty much on the other side of Laredo they build all the diesels trucks and all that stuff hope you guys like this working at night it's a little different that's for sure um, one thing about it is it, it is a little cooler but like I say there's there's a few more hazards to it but it's good money you know for I would say well last night I probably slept five hours which normally I don't sleep that much normally I I try to stay awake most of the time I'll take a 15 or 20 minute nap here and there but I started out at 8 o'clock yesterday morning and by the middle of the night last night I was pretty tired so today I slept in till about noon so I should be pretty good for the night I always use this too so you can't you can't physically do a lock every time so the main thing is just make sure the gate stays closed so I have this, this old uh, strap that a buddy of mine loaned me and he's still loaning it to me probably see if he sees it he's gonna want it back that's a good tie down anyway uh, that's what I use for kind of locking the gate they got these things on this one thanks for watching if uh, first time watching please subscribe and, and just kind of watch our nonsense I guess we just try to show you what this lifestyle is about and working it and if you want to call this work I spend most of my time watching TV and playing on the computer and munching and when the bell that's another thing I could show you you're gonna see this little light little red light come on that is my sensor and then I put one out out front here on a telephone pole that just happens to be located there and that sets off the chime by my chair so I know someone's out here in the middle of the night and then I look out the window and make sure everything uh, is cool there's a truck here and if there's no truck then uh, I don't come out and then if there is a truck then I as I come out of the motorhome I check my stairs at the bottom and then I do the log in log out then I come back check my stairs make sure nothing's there and then inside we go and I always lock the door when I come in so always leave your door locked I during the day not so much but at night always so hey guys thanks for watching please uh, subscribe please share ring the bell and hit like if you like these videos thank you good night